Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and it's been a couple months since we've all taken down Eden's verse, so I thought it would be a neat idea to go over some of the strategies that have changed since the beginning of the raid tier. There are a lot of new ways our party handles the mechanics, but if you're feeling adventurous or like to spice up your raid, let's take a look at some of the changes we've made. In Eden's Fulmination Savage, for Furies 14, some pug groups like to use TN, or True North. This means that the party will always line up in a set position, regardless of where Ramu jumps to, while the tank, who's taken the circle, flexes. The benefit here is that you always know where your spot is, regardless of which side Ramu jumps to, but the disadvantage could be less DPS uptime for melees. We handle Chain Lightning via the Circle Strat. Basically, your party gets into clock positions around the boss, healers will line up on the east and the west side, and all you do is pass the Chain Lightning around in a circle. In our case, we pass the Chain Lightning to the person on our left. In Fuhrer, when the first knockback circle in the middle pops up, we all use our anti-knockbacks and shift the bumps towards the north like this. Basically, it's to help with DPS uptime and less boss and party movement overall. Next, we have the uptime soccer strat for Ifrit's Strike Spark. We have the whole party stack up on the butt and the main tank stack north. Since we know that the AoEs will never appear on the main tank, You'll wait for the AoEs to go off, and then everybody runs north regardless of where the safe spot is. You still have to shield and heal here to mitigate the damage, but it gets better and easier with the higher gear you have. The benefit is that you get 100% uptime without having to think too much about where the safe spot is. In Eden's Verse Iconoclasm Savage, during the add phase, we do a 7-1 strategy, where everyone in the party except for the off tank starts near just one add. This is so that the whole party can get party buffs from each other for some DPS benefits. The ranged DPS will attack the far add, as well as the melees will attack the add that's close. All mechanics are shared with the party, including the double stack mechanics. For Words of Enchantment, or the Ball and Tether Towers after the add phase, we actually have both tanks grab two tethers each from the balls that spawn on the edges. The tanks pop their invulns and take the ball dashes through the middle. While that's happening, the four DPS will take the front towers while the healers will take the back towers. This means that everyone can hit the boss for 100% DPS uptime. But also keep in mind that after the balls and towers resolve, both tanks will get the same colored debuff. So for the next mechanic, one tank will have to pick up the tether from their same colored orb. In Refulgent Savage, for the second set of space lasers, we have the tank stand on the west side while the party stands on Shiva's left rear flank. The tanks then move to the north while the DPS will move to the right to the right corner flank. This helps out the melees for reaching their positionals as well as the tanks to help keep Shiva oriented north. For the next set of Akmorns later in the fight, instead of standing on the cardinal directions, we have the party stand on the intercardinal directions. We have each group start on A and C and then move laterally. Once the red mirror throws down another space laser, we go back to our original spots. So that means the group at A marker goes to the B marker and then back to A, and the group at the C marker goes to D and then back to C. And while it doesn't seem like much for any of these adjustments, uh, they help out just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more optimized. And that's what we're all looking for with these fights. If you have some different strats, post them in the comments below because I'd love to hear about it. And remember, the more information that we have about these raids, the better we can all challenge them and enjoy these fights to get our clears. So stay safe out there and keep on adventuring. Okay, can you do slightly less DPS and I'll be just only very slightly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, I, I I let my dots fall off for you. Now step oh, it up. God, what a chair! <laughs> yeah, step it up. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, I have to click no mercy. Oh God. Ah. Ah. <laughs> there are all those noises I miss.